Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we learn how to declare a variable, how to assign value to that variable, and how to print the value of that variable to the screen. So let's start. Before declare a variable, you must know what is a variable. In our previous tutorial, I discuss about variables in details. A variable is nothing but a name given to a memory location in order to access it easily. To declare a variable, first you have to write its data type. Data type specify what types of data will be held by a variable. There are different data types available in C++ such as integer, character, floating point, boolean and a special type that is void. Void is generally used with a function to indicate that the function is not going to return any value. Here we declare each of the variable and then assign some values to that variable. To declare an integer type variable, first we need to write its data type that is int and then write the name of the variable, let's say max and then give here a semicolon. To declare a float type variable, we need to write the keyword float and then write the variable name that is average. Similarly, character type variable cat sex and then we declare a boolean type variable. For this case, we need to write the keyword bool and then the variable name suppose check. Next, we print the value of this variable. To print the value of this variable, we use cout. So, I am going to write here cout, then insertion operator, and then write the variable name that is max. Then again insertion operator and give here endl. Endl indicates end of line. Then again insertion operator and then give here the next variable name that is average. Again in line then the next variable name that is sex again in line and then the last variable name that is check. Here we just declare four variables. We are not assign any values to this variable. For this case, this variable takes some garbage value. Let's check the output. Build and run. As you can see here, it print minus two, minus two point eight seven two four four etc. Now we assign the value to this variable. We can initialize it at the time of declaration or we can declare it separately. To assign a variable at the time of declaration, just give here a equal to sign and then specify the value. Suppose 75. Similarly, average equal to 62.75. We initialize the next variable separately. For this purpose, we need to write the variable name first that is sex, then give the equal to sign and then specify the value. Suppose m. Similarly, check equal to true. Check is a boolean variable. It takes two values, either true or false. True indicate 1 and false indicate 0. Once we initialize the value to a variable, then we can access the value using cout. Let's check the output. Build and run. As you can see here, it print max 75, then average 62.75, then sex male, and then check equal to 1. Since here we initialize check equal to true, that's why it print 1. The next thing that I want to tell you you must declare a variable before using it in your program. If we use a variable which is not declared in our program, then compiler gives some error. For example, I am going to write here cout insertion operator and then x and give here a end line. 
for this case the variable x is not declared in our program so compiler will give some error let's check the output build and run see here it gives error x was not declared in this scope so I am going to delete this part the last thing that I want to tell you that is type modifier we can use the type modifier with the basic data types for example I am going to write here long int long int is larger than int both of the cases we get the same output the only difference is that long int takes more byte to store the number than int let's check the output built and run as you can see here there is no change in the output that's it hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel slide hunt and you can also like my facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt